what's up guys welcome to the part 2 of this tutorial okay so before we go straight i would like to ask everyone don't forget to like share or subscribe to this channel okay so now first thing now i will do is to uh, arrange whatever the some problem here okay I want this uh, slab are close to this uh, shape okay so to do that one okay double click this okay and automatically go to this south elevation okay so I, I just now drag it this or DE and use the pick line okay pick this okay and TR to close this oops it's not working okay you can drag it like that okay and now you need to fix it also here okay tr for the shortcut okay to close it in other side or control set okay delete this total okay and use the arc here okay like that okay and you can offset it this into 350 of okay 350 so we need to adjust it also this one okay mb for the move to connect it there okay so you will see automatically arrange this here okay so this is overlap also here now it's okay and now we need to fix here okay use the pick line okay pick this okay and again Pick this, okay, delete, and use the arc to close it, okay. Like that. So, I need all the slab is... Uh, close to that design okay so I just simply delete this okay and I use the arc okay and delete this one okay D for the shortcut to, the, to delete so I think it's okay let's finish okay so now go to 3d you will see the slab is already close to the this uh, external design okay and make sure all the store plant is attached to the floor so okay this is all attached i think because we said this before okay so now what I'm going to do is to complete this okay go to massing inside okay use the control shift to rotate okay and for now I use the wall for this one okay pick inside of the mass okay inside outside okay so now what i'm going to do next is to command bg okay because i don't like i don't need now this mass okay so we can check it all the uh, 
uh, adjustment here okay so now what I'm going to do next is to fix this problem okay because this is overlap okay I use some DE for the shortcut use the pick line okay pick the bottom here and TR for the shortcut okay to close this one and hit finish okay delete element and automatically go to level one okay and I just set this into 14,700 okay and now if you go to 3D is going inside to this uh, wall or curve wall okay so now I just simply pick this okay because this is too big okay edit here okay edit and set this into 200 okay apply okay so now we need to close it the other side okay so i just simply pick this okay hold the control shift select this okay select this select also this okay select all the grid the storefront okay like that go into level one okay mm for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side okay and counter check it into 3d okay use the control shift to rotate it okay so now we need to close the rest of the building okay here there is some design to this corner okay but before that i go to level one okay and to set the section okay if you pick this okay there is some option so i use the building option and i just simply make one here okay and oops i want this here okay pick this and you can adjust it by moving up okay so now what i'm going to do next is to need i just need to double click this okay and gr for the shortcut okay i snap because i want this so this is my guide okay so now what i'm going to do next is leave it into grid for now here okay i just go back into the level one so this is the uh, one reference to this uh, both side okay so now double click it also this okay and we need to command gr again okay i need to snap it also in the middle of this okay and drag it all the way up this adjust it this okay A, oh, A and this is B. 
Okay, so now if you go to level one, okay, you can adjust it also here. Okay, or you can rename it this automatically here. No problem. Okay, so I want this only as my guide. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to add the other grid in this part. Okay. In order to do that, okay, I just simply pick this, okay, and drag it here, okay, and 6,000. Okay, so now I just simply drag it also in this part, okay, or control set RP. Okay, and this is three thousand. Okay. So now, I start to draw now a zigzag wall design here. Okay. So now I go into architecture. I use the wall. Okay. delete this okay and also you need to adjust it this up to here okay so now if we go to 3d to counter check it okay So now let's design again the every angle of this uh, wall, okay? So to do that one, I just need to pick this, okay? I change it into exterior plus, okay? Edit type, okay? And now fix distance, I set this into 800. Okay, 2,000. Okay, this is both hit apply and hit okay. So now, I can select it this and this and change it into stereo plus glazing. Okay. So now there is some adjustment here. So do that one, double click this, okay. DE for the shortcut, use the pick element, pick, pick this, okay. TR for the shortcut to close it. Okay, and hit finish. Delete element, okay. So you can fix all already. Okay, so now we need add also in other floor, okay, so pick this, okay, hold the control shift, okay, to select, okay, and use the copy, align to select the label, okay, and Level 3. Okay. 
and now automatically go into level 1 okay mm for the shortcut okay hold the control shift to rotate okay pick this okay use the hold and to control hide element okay hide element okay so now you can select it all of this okay is align to selected level 4 okay and paste align to selected level 2 okay so now you can delete this okay de or the shortcut and reset temporary hide okay so now this is what he look already okay so of course you need to modify it also this okay de use the pick line okay Okay, so now we are already finished in this part 2 of this tutorial. Okay, so I hope that it's uh, very clear to each and everyone. So please don't forget to like and share this video. And in the next part of this uh, tutorial, I will add the doors or and the complete the grid lights and also the uh, furnitures inside this building. So uh, see you again in part three. So thank you to all of you and God bless you all.